Hello. This is working. Yes. Right. This is about horizontal pensions. However, it's actually in response to Ronnie Shellis. So if you're looking at this, Ronnie, uh, I hope this is uh, entertaining or interesting. And for anybody else, I hope this is like an example to, to demonstrate what uh, uh, horizontal pensions are. Ronnie's um, a fantastic harmonica player. So I'm on YouTube a few months ago, months and months ago, when I started YouTube actually. Even before that, I think it was one of the few videos that I got directed to and I was just like, wow, that's amazing. And I subscribed, I think, at some point. And he, he's just amazing, amazing, inspiring. And I had, uh, I've tried to play the harmonica before and I'm just not very good at it. Uh, but I did have fun doing it. But trying to actually produce a single note on a harmonica is damn tricky. And I just couldn't quite work out a way of doing it that was kind of fun. And kind of like forced me to practice, inspired me to practice. Uh, and so I kind of lost interest in harmonica because you can only get, do so much just breathing in and out. You know, you could do things with rhythm, but there's no kind of tune to it. Really. So, uh, I'm, Ronnie uh, has now just on the 26th of January, well, that's actually tomorrow, I think, um, is putting on sale a DVD, okay, to teach people the basics on how to learn harmonica. Fantastic. I'd like to. I'd like to I'd like to learn from Ronnie, okay? What I'm going to suggest now though is an alternative to producing a DVD. Okay, um, and it's to do with horizontal pensions. Okay. In order to talk about horizontal pensions, I've got to talk about uh, what pensions are. Okay. I think most people have some idea. I don't really I don't really know because I've never really invested in pensions, so I don't really know. However, as far as I do understand, alright, currently in the UK uh, the government are encouraging people to put money into private pensions. So instead of expecting the government to give you a pension when you retire, you have to invest in your own pension so that when you retire, the company will give you back some money. Okay, so you can have enough money to live by. This is encouraging, by the way, society to think about your own future. You, your partners and your families, and that's it. And it's a further continuation of that. Okay. Horizontal pension is slightly different. It the reason why I think it might work is because pensions don't actually work where you're actually... Okay, let me get this right. Oh, no, correct me if I'm wrong here. The illusion is that you're saving money. You're putting money into a company and it's somehow they're building up and then when you retire they give you this money back. Okay? The illusion is that you're putting money into the future for you. When actually what's actually happening is that money is being redistributed. The money that you put into a pension now is being redistributed now to other people who are, for example, receiving their pension. You get this? It's like uh, employment uh, benefit, where you're receiving employment benefit not because of the money that you put in before, but because you're getting it from people who are currently putting money uh, through taxes and so on and so forth now. Okay? So, if we ignore, if we, if we puncture this bubble, this illusion that we're actually saving for our own futures, and we become aware that it's actually just a redistribution of money now, we'll call that, why don't we design a system that is actually making use of that, that true and real event, the distribution of money now. And I call that horizontal pension. Not future, vertical pension, but horizontal. So, let me get this right. A, okay, let me demonstrate this. Okay, uh, using a method, uh, not using a method, using uh, three examples. Okay, first example is a Tai Chi. I learned Tai Chi from this guy, and I paid for lessons, just normal money for lessons, and I have subsequently taught Tai Chi. A small percentage of what I make, I pass on to my teacher. And I hope this carries on for the future. So if whoever it is that I teach in the future, I will pay a certain amount onto my teacher. If my teacher happens to have several people that he teaches, who become teachers themselves, even when he's old and decrepit, he can't even walk, he'll still be generating money currently. Why? Because his students are now teachers and they're spending money if, they're, if, they're, if they have some kind of income. Okay, do you get what I'm saying? Okay, another example, uh, Tango. I got taught tango by this guy in three lessons. 
Because of those three lessons, I persevered. Now, it's like Tai Chi. Most of the practice is done by myself. The illusion is you thinking you're paying for lessons, and you pay for that period of time that you had the lesson. What's actually happening is that they're providing you with the, the, the experience, the insight, the inspiration, practical skills, for you to carry on doing it by yourself. That's the real value, so you do it by yourself. So the same with tango. If I ever teach tango, I hope to give a small percentage to uh, the person who taught me. I'll even go beyond this. What happens if I make no money from it? What happens if I have fantastic tango evening? I mean, I have a fantastic tango evening. I spend three pounds on you know, the rent of the room, you know, you know, and that's all it's paying for. Some guy puts on some music, I have a fantastic time. Why? Because I know a bit of tango, these other people know a bit about tango, we're all dancing, my partner's just phenomenal, and we're just having a fantastic evening, hours and hours of entertainment. Three pounds? That's just for the room. Surely, surely, I want to repay the person who enabled me to have this experience. That is my teacher. If I have a fantastic evening, I should be able to find his name on my PayPal, and send them some money. And this could go on now, it could go on for the next 10 years, 20 years, it doesn't really matter. So again, imagine this teacher who's managed to touch, who's managed to teach, I don't know, 10, 20, 100, 100 people. And throughout their lives, whenever they have a fantastic time of tango, they actually find it and give her a bit of money. Do you get what I'm saying? So finally, we reach uh, the third thing, uh, number three, uh, Ronnie. What happens if Ronnie managed to personalise the bit of uh, teaching? Well, actually, maybe his DVD will do fantastic. Maybe it won't, but maybe it does. But if it doesn't, he, he personalises his teaching for me, so I'm inspired, and he, he actually manages to explain something to me that I can actually do. And I put a huge amount of practice into it because I want to. I'll pay money for that. I will pay money for that. And let's imagine in the future, I'm playing with a bunch of people, my friends, and I have a fantastic evening. I'll pay him for that. Do you see? The value of lessons like tango, tai chi, or um, harmonica, you know, musical instruments, is that it's an internal thing that I do as the learner. And all I wish to do, and I wish to do this, is I wish to pay the person who taught me when I have these experiences. I actually have this desire. I don't know if you have this. Whenever you have something, you think, oh, this is amazing. Oh, what value, life, something or other. And for some reason, or other, what pops into your head is the teacher. Somebody who enabled you to actually have this experience. Now that pops into your head. It automatically does because you're just honest and you're nice. And you're a human being. The trouble is our money doesn't seem to be related to that. Our money distribution. Well, what happens if we manage to tie our money flow to that real experience? Do you get what I'm saying? Respect, honour, honesty, all these kinds of values that we can't seem to put a money value on. And I don't want to, but it's the mechanism which is real that we can uh, align uh, our money to. So if I do Tai Chi, I really enjoy it, I'll find this guy whenever it is in the future and I'll give some money. Tango, it's the same. Tai Chi is the same. Even teachers. This guy, for example, there's a couple of teachers that I've had uh, when I was at school. I think we're very influential, consciously. And I've thought about it. He's popped up in my life a few times just when I was thinking about things, teaching something. I'd love to find him on YouTube or find him in PayPal, whatever it is, and just give him some money. Even though he was paid for his job, I'd just love to just go, oh, look, here's, I mean, £100. £100 because I learned something about trees today. And it occurred to me that I wouldn't have been able to do that without you being my violinist teacher. You get what I'm saying? So I call this the horizontal pension plan, pension scheme. And if you're up for it, Ronnie, um, well, I don't know, message me. And if anybody else is interested, try it out. Okay, I think it has to be like an experiential thing, an internal uh, experiential thing, rather than it's a thing. You know, Ronnie's trying to produce a thing. He thinks that's what, that's just a CD or DVD. It doesn't actually represent what he's actually doing and what he's teaching and the inspiration and the practice and the great joy of what he's passing on. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, you, get, you get me, Ronnie?
Uh, if anybody else likes the idea, then please do try it out and then post some kind of response. All right. Stay cool. Lots of love.